technology has created new possibilities in the military world, in the areas of combat and security. Remote control and command and unmanned vehicles are becoming essential. Having made a name for itself in technological know-how, the United Arab Emirates is currently developing unmanned aerial vehicles and related systems on a local scale. In 2003, with the endorsement of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, an unmanned aerial vehicle research and technology center was established in the Albertine Air Base in Abu Dhabi. The research and technology center develops and produces several UAVs and UAV-related systems. It is a complete, fully equipped facility, capable of developing the UAVs and of integrating them with weapons and communication systems. The Research and Technology Center is also capable of training the staff to operate the vehicles. It is a modern facility containing state-of-the-art equipment and a qualified team needed to run the advanced research program. ISR today it's become important for any new modern forces. It's become very important for any operation to be conducted. AOE Air Force and Air Defense realize the importance of ISR and the information superiority. Therefore, we invested in the satellite technology, in UAV technology, in electronic warfare sensor technology and other sensors. We have vision to develop our own UAVs. And there are different aspects of the UAVs, either from many level, tactical level, male and head. We have a program, we have an indigenous program. We are working to develop uh, all this locally. And the most important is the technology transfer. The project is set to become an autonomous base, specialized in high technology UAVs and related systems. It will also enhance the position of the UAE as a key player in the worldwide field of UAVs. The UAV Center also finances educational grants and scientific awards for outstanding candidates. The center consists of three divisions and departments. Research and Development. This department is responsible for the development of multidisciplinary research programs in aeronautic and space technology. The tasks of the R&D department include the integration of the different components of the UAVs, such as the flight control systems and the standard ground control station. The R&D department is responsible for maintaining effective satellite communications and a data video link system. One of the main missions of the UAV development is system integration, where all subsystems have to be configured to coordinate and work in parallel to achieve the required task. For example, the sensor, camera and laser rangefinder has to coordinate with the flight control unit in order to track a target. The center is cooperating with other research institutions and universities on technology transfer agreements and joint development programs. The center is currently developing a new series of UAV systems, bigger capacity VTOLs, hybrid UAVs, high altitude long endurance UAVs, HAIL, unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, lethal UAVs, LUAVs. The Flight Support Department is in charge of enhancing the capacities of the UAVs and of their related systems. The Aldafra facility has assembly lines where all components of the UAVs are put together and tested. One of the key aspects of the facility is the ground test area where the UAV's performance is tested to the highest safety levels. The Aldafra facility also houses a carbo fiber workshop where the fuselage of the vehicles is produced. The Flight Support Division is currently developing a UAV-based ISAR system, which provides support for the homeland security operations of the UAE. The center is designed to become a key player in the UAV field worldwide and to support the operational requirements of the UAE Armed Forces. The center is actively 
associated with two development programs specifically designed to meet the UAE Armed Forces requirements. These two UAV programs with a vertical takeoff weight of around 200 kg are the most advanced in their category. The Flight Support Department is setting up a command and control center that expands the role of the UAVs in the field to be used in many applications. Reconnaissance and surveillance, information data collection, target acquisition and designation, communications relay, battle damage assessment, communications and electronics intelligence, jamming devices, chemical and biological warfare detection. The center will soon be launching three new models. APID 55 VTOL is a lightweight but highly mobile long endurance VTOL used for real-time imaging and for video recording. S100 VTOL is a lightweight high altitude VTOL which can be equipped with a weapon system. Aerostat is used for border patrolling and can be equipped with a sniper localization system. The development of these models is vital for the security of the UAE. They can be used for many essential tasks. Maintaining homeland security, responding to emergencies, carrying out humanitarian missions, monitoring facilities, detecting mines, intercepting communications, patrolling borders. The UAV Research and Technology Center is investing in training, education, and is allocating funds for the financing of educational grants and scientific awards. This study program is implemented in collaboration with the University of Alain. For this purpose, a comprehensive training program has been tailor-made for the UAE Armed Forces UAV team to identify and sponsor students. I have been working on this project from its start in 2003. Since that time, a lot of progress have been achieved and we have learned a lot. And I am very proud to be part of this project that is contributing to the success of our country. On-site training and educational facilities are available at the center. These include lecture and briefing rooms, simulation rooms, laboratory room, and assembly line workshops. The facilities of the center are intended to develop a nucleus of UAE national UAV technicians, engineers, scientists and researchers. The United Arab Emirates has always been a pioneer in acquiring the latest technology. Today the UAE has moved from acquiring technology to developing it locally. Our leadership have trusted us, give us a political and financial support allowed us to select the best technology in all over the world and today alhamdulillah we have one of the best uh, people who's really as capable to control and to analyze and to disseminate the information <music>